Hey guys, Coach Dan here. I am missing the staff meeting. I'm blaming everyone else but myself for this because I, that's what I do. Um, but since I can't be there in person, I wanted to cover one thing and that is how to set up the gym if you are the person in charge of that because now it will be typically whoever's got the last birthday party or whoever's the last open gym of the day, you're gonna be responsible to set up the gym. So how I do it is I take Ninja Green for the upcoming week. Uh, you find it in the folder up at the front. Look at Ninja Green and you'll just look at the skills and you wanna set up something on the floor that allows a coach to use each skill. It doesn't have to be the same way it's done before, right? It says back roll. Often it's been on the big cheese wedge. It can be on something else. You can be creative as you want. Okay, just try to find something that allows a coach to come in, make a loop, and get in all the skills. And remember, these skills, we want you to coach these skills. These are like the pirate code. They're guidelines. If you feel like your class could use something extra, or this is too much for the class you have, you can adjust it accordingly. And uh, we also will be adding new things periodically to the gym, things like the pegboard. Those don't fit nicely onto any of these because these don't get updated as often as the gym does. So think of ways you can incorporate that, um, especially if you have kids who have never done the pegboard before and they've got something on here down really well, it's okay to substitute in the pegboard and let them work on different skills. Um, for the most part, we're working on building skills and building them in multiple different ways around the gym. So don't be feeling like you're stuck with just one thing and we're just repeating it over and over every week. So hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, um, blame someone else besides me, because that's how things work here. Just kidding. Perfect.